Happy Friday, Boalia Desmond here. Thank you for tuning in. Today is Celebration Friday. So I hope you celebrated. I hope you did something that is worth celebrating because guess what? I know you did something. Maybe you drank a gallon of water or you kept up with your water intake. You exercised this week. You did something for someone. You helped a neighbor out. You checked on, on someone. You gave away some money. You helped out with a you know, with a fund of some sort, you did something. So anyway, pat yourself on the back if you haven't done so and tell yourself good job self. Proud of you. So I titled my message today, a simple routine to help you eliminate negative thoughts. This is not an original message. I got an email today from Daniel Amen um, about the automatic negative thoughts. And I, I know I did a, um, a, um, I spoke about one of those in my videos about the automatic negative thoughts. So I know this video out there, but today I wanted to revisit this after I received his email because it's true. Our minds tend to wander, don't they? They go automatically to negative thoughts. And I'm telling you what, your brain will find a way to find stress and anxiety anywhere and everywhere if you allow it to because it's, it's prone to be negative. And sometimes I'm blown away when I think, when I stop to think how many negative thoughts I have in a particular day. And really that just reminds me that, hmm, I didn't start out my day right. Right? Because that's what your brain is, is, is constantly in that mode. It's always thinking there's a threat. It's always thinking there's a threat. And that's where you get that fight or flight syndrome. That it's always thinking, oh, there's a threat here. And it doesn't matter if it's a real threat or if it's a perceived threat. It doesn't know the difference. It just stays in that negative thought. So what you want to do is you want to give it a pattern to follow, right? It works in patterns. So give it the right pattern to, to follow throughout the day so that you can have a better day and you can command your brain to start thinking positively. So how can you do that? What is the simple routine that you can do? When you get up in the morning, before your feet even hit that floor, before you touch that that phone, before you hit the snooze button or whatever it is and you start getting in yourself into that negative um, zone, say to yourself, today is going to be a great day. It's going to be a great day today, right? So guess what you've done? You have told your brain, this is the pattern. This is the pattern that we're focusing on today. This is the pattern that I want you to be focusing on. Isn't that so good? And it's so simple. It's so simple. Command your thoughts. Command your brain to do the positive because otherwise it's going to go negative. And so when you start to do that, when you start to say that as the first thing in the morning, guess what you're going to be looking for? In everything that you do that day, you're going to be looking for some positive. So first thing I do, you know, after I, I get my myself out of bed and I don't touch my phone, I, I get into my prayer closet and I start to do those prayers, you're already in a form of gratitude, right? Your mind is already being wired now. Now you're thankful. And then I move on to my workout and my workouts are, you know, phenomenal because I, I you know, I think about them the night before and I plan them out so that I, I'm doing something that I love, right? And then you get to work because you never know what's going to happen at work. So, but when, because your mind is already being wired to be thinking of the positive, in the positive pattern, you start to see things a little bit different. You start to see things. You know, your son comes up behind you and gives you a hug and, oh, that's just like the greatest thing, right? So maybe you, you can, um, maybe you went to work and you, you have a one-on-one -on -one and your boss says you're doing a fantastic job and then maybe you get a raise or maybe you, you hit a bonus. Maybe you do something, you know, maybe you sign on new people in your business and your day is just going right. You're starting to think about things beautifully. So then you come to the end of the day. This is what this is important. So in the you started the day right. Now you got to end the day right as well. So either journal or meditate, you know, thinking, meditate, thinking on thinking about the things, right? Think about the things that went well that day and then just start to write them out or just start to, to meditate on them. Like just allow them to sink into your brain so that you can be thankful. I'm so glad that I had such a fantastic workout today. And then, you know, you're glad that you, that you got a raise and that your kids were good to you today. Just being thankful that you have an incredible relationship with your spouse, whatever it is, think about the positive. And this is why I think affirmations are so critical to us 
Find some affirmations that you can say to yourself every single day that are going to lift you up, that are going to make you feel good, that are going to help you understand your value and your worth. So at the end of the day, go to bed in that beautiful state of thinking of the good things so that when you get up in the morning, guess what you're going to do? You're going to command that day to be good. So you're going to say, today is going to be a great day. And you're going to do it all over again because your, your mind needs that pattern. Because it's going to go back to being negative if you allow it to. So this is one of the things that I started to think about when I when I when, when I read this um, email that he sent to me. Really, we we can control. This is how much power we've been given, right? Because, as Earl Nightingale says, you become what you think about, right? We become what we think about. So when we allow, when we either don't say anything to our brain to give it a pattern so that it goes right into that negative thing, or whether you start out the day being negative, grumping and whatever, you're helping it to stay in that negative state. So you have enough power to change that. And you know what? It's not too late. So if you've been negative all along and you can't figure out where, why you're, you're, you know, you think your life isn't going well and, and all that stuff, it's think about your pattern. Have you allowed your brain to, 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 to continue on the, in that negative state or have you actually given it something positive to focus on? You can do that. So that was a simple routine to help you eliminate negative thoughts. Start out your day by saying today is going to be a great day. End it by thinking about all the positive things that have happened to you that day. Either write them down, meditate on them, and have your brain um, function in that pattern for the day. So I thank you for tuning in and I will see you tomorrow.